Hello, today we're gonna build some houses in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that every single house is a different letter from the alphabet. So let's go. Alrighty, so the alphabet challenge, I think it was created by Dr. Ashley, not sure, but I think so. So shout out to her. And I thought instead of uh, building houses as A, B and C, because that's been done a lot, we've seen it before, at least I have seen it before. I don't know if you have seen it before. No, I get to the point, oh my gosh. I thought that instead I'm gonna do the Norwegian letters A, L and O. And yes, I know that those letters are also Danish letters, but are the Danish people here? No, I don't think so. So it's officially just the Norwegian letters. <laughs> but anyways, I had a little thingy thought, and I thought that each house can have an aesthetic that is represented by each letter. So like just the letter itself, not when you put it in a word or anything like that, just the letter itself. So <laughs> this might be a bad idea, but who knows? So ah, when you just say ah, <coughs> that represents screaming slash fear. You know, you say ah when you're scared. So the letter A could be a haunted house. Then we have uh, 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 uh. That represents confusion. And what is confusion? What is that, Nora? Maybe maximalism? Not that people who likes maximalism are confused, but I don't know, it just has that chaotic, confused vibe, maximalism. I don't know. And or, oh, 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 oh. That can represent understanding. And what is understanding? Interesting. Okay, so like when you understand something, it creates some sort of enlightenment, some calmness, some zen. So maybe some minimalistic Japandi style, maybe? Yeah, I, I I shall do that. I think that's a good idea. A, U, and O. Okay, so A, haunted house, uh, maximalism, or Japandi style. So let's crack on, shall we? We shan't. Alrighty, tidy, here we freaking are. <laughs> I have already made the shells for the letters because making letters out of walls in The Sims is um not something that I'm good at. So um it took a long time and I'm glad that I did it before I started filming because I would have been here till the morning time. And here you can see my little uh. Now, I tried, I freaking tried to make this with the rounded walls, but of course, of freaking course, it did not work, you know, so it has to be an octagon. Am I even surprised that it didn't work with the round walls? No, I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. But yeah, now, which letter should we start with? Should we go the alphabetical order or what I'm feeling order? I think I'm gonna go with what I'm feeling order. So I wanna start with my uh. Why? I don't know, I just felt like it. <laughs> so uh, this was gonna be the confused one, the maximalist one you could per se say so well let's um let's crack on with that oh my gosh the roof how am i gonna do the roof i did not think about this okay wait what if i take an octagonal roof what happens then oh yeah that doesn't work okay what about this roof lap it down there then i do the same with the other whoa interesting what if i take a hip roof run in there ah, what am i even doing at this point i have no idea <laughs> wait, this is so hard okay all right what if i do something Electro. I mean, it got some curly whirlies in there. Kind of weird. But remember, maximalism. Always remember maximalism. <laughs> All right, this part. What am I gonna do with you? What if I do something like this? Then just take it in. And what do I do then? Right, what if I just take it all the way out here with this little rounded hat? And then I take some um, some of these and uh, I make something happen. But jeepers me. Does that look okay? <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a little bit flat though. Am I allowed to have more than one floor just for the ambiance? Is that, is that allowed? Oh, <gasps> maybe I can make a little bell tower. Wait, <laughs> just like so? Isn't that a cute little bell tower? I do feel so. Now for the wallpaper. So I think this from the four end pack. What color do I want to go for? Just this? I mean, that's kind of cute. Oh wow. And then the roof. <gasps> Should we have a yellow roof? I mean, when else am I going to have a yellow roof? You know, I actually think that's kind of cute. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It looks absolutely bonkers. Okay, that it does. But it looks kind of cute in a way. And then for my windows. Oh, that's a super cute window. I I'm gonna go for that window. And maybe this window too. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna put up my windows everywhere I go. I mean, to be honest, I think this is starting to look very cute. I do like it, if I do say so myself. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I have no words. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's kind of cool. I might have that as well. Why not? And then maybe I should have something on the top of that little bell tower. Because why not? Ta-ta! Hmm, it still looks kind of flat. So maybe I should put this on a little foundation. That's cute. Oh, no, I have to fix this. It's floating in the air. <laughs> now, 
out how are we gonna get up here because this is on the diagonal and um, from my experience you can't put stairs on the diagonal no maybe there's a trick for that but I don't I don't know what can I do then okay do I have to make like a ton of platforms and stuff I mean I think I have to okay what if I go something like so got some little wiggly wigglers I do like that I mean I couldn't put up a fence here here or here or here yes it's the sims why why would it work but I'm gonna hide that up with some bushes and some trees don't you worry I'm gonna hide it up all right so here is the finished result of this I haven't put in the plants yet I'm gonna do that in the end because that takes a long time but yeah this is the front part and I just did the same thing in the back for the backyard I think it's starting to look very cute I do believe so all right let's move on inside for the layout and oh oh what is happening here um <laughs> hello all right I just had to build a floor there because yikes <laughs> that was scary that was a hole into the abyss but yeah all right I had to do the layout this is gonna be difficult where am I gonna put things I don't even know where to begin like what all right I think I've done some sort of layout I hope so at least okay so this long part is going to be the hallway just had to be a long ass hallway <laughs> right here is a kitchen and dining room and there is a living room then right here could be some sort of office art room thing a thing then we have a kids bedroom primary bedroom and a bathroom that's me layout so let's crack on with this what are we gonna begin with first I mean maybe the kitchen maybe the kitchen <gasps> oh that is a beautiful flooring I, I think I'm gonna do that yeah there's some kitchen stuff what would be nice with this color I want it to pop it has to be a uh, lots of colors lots of patterns it's a maximalist uh, miss 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 house <laughs> oh okay I like that that is a very fresh color I think I'm gonna go with that hmm where's the dining table gonna be just right here maybe maybe that's a good placement right I mean that could work I mean this is still a mess I tried to line it up with the window the freaking bracket windows driving me insane and I also tried this in the corner <laughs> with overlapping them and stuff I think maybe maybe that could work all right so I think my plan for this build is to put in all the essential furniture first and then go back and decorate it as I normally do <laughs> because otherwise I'm just gonna get so overwhelmed so I think that's the best thing for me right now take it bit by bit so this room is of course not done but all the essential furniture are in there and I'm gonna come back and decorate it in the end okay I promise it would be a bad video if I didn't do that you know <laughs> let's move on to another room maybe maybe the living room we need we need a couch that's what you have in the living room where am I gonna place that oh maybe I can place a couch here that seems reasonable what couch do I want to go for oh <gasps> maybe this oh I love that couch oh that is so cute and then this one. Oh yes in pink oh that is cute actually and then we need some sort of tv and it's gonna be that tv just whoa and then a little coffee table that would be nice what about this one yeah I think that could work and can I squeeze in a little um tv table maybe and some pink wallpaper oh yes this room is complete whoa okay so in this little corner can I squeeze this little table in maybe yes I squeezed it in <laughs> wait what am I gonna have in this little nook oh my gosh maybe I can have this little plant then a hanging one just to fill that space up with something you know but yeah let's uh pop onto the primary bedroom which was gonna be here I think do we have a good bed for that okay we have this sort of bed then we have this bed then we have like this bed but I think I'm gonna go with this I kind of like that yeah and then some little nightstands in yellow size them down as usual <laughs> then we need some sort of dress uh a very skinny dresser because it has to go in there oh, I mean that could that could work probably and then some wallpaper what wallpaper could work in here oh oh that's all oh, now I have to remember it's supposed to be maximalism so when I think this is too much it isn't too much and why is this wall so bright hello I don't know and then just some flooring just to tone it a little bit down it's a little bit down but then I'm gonna add in a carpet to save us all mighty mighty carpet what carpet do I want <laughs> that's kind of cute that's also kind of cute <laughs> wait I think I'm gonna go with this carpet slice it down a little bit that could maybe work for Nora I could maybe work for Nora right, let's pop on to the bathroom and in the bathroom we need bathroom stuff so bathtub I mean I have to use that bathtub that is amazing and then a toilet just over there maybe very very patternless and then a sink now I would love to have some counters just to make it a little bit more fancy can I do that somehow um, what if I size them down will that do something for me I don't know maybe <laughs> maybe that could work I don't know let's put it in the mirror oh that's looking fancy that's looking very fancy actually wow I'm just gonna put in some flooring maybe this maybe I really have to think about this bathroom because oh yikes yikes me let's just move on to the kids bedroom 
So in the kids' bedroom, I thought of having a little bank bed. Because we don't have much space. And then just pop in another bed in there. And I can use this as a little nightstand. Very cute. Oh, this is a weird room. I don't know what to do with this room. What is Nora supposed to do with this room? What can I have in this little <laughs> corner? <laughs> just a chair? I have no idea. I mean, maybe I could just pop in the chair. And a little poof. A little poof moment. Just in the corner. Oh, this is a weird room. My gooly golly gosh. Right, what about the flooring? <gasps> oh, maybe I can have that on the roof. <gasps> How does that look like on the inside? Oh, wow. The night sky. And then the wallpaper. What am I gonna do for the wallpaper? Who knows? Yeah, you know what? This yellow wallpaper with that blue one. I mean, that that might work. <laughs> that might work for Nora. It, it, it might as well at this point. Okay, so I thought for this room, this outside room, I thought we could put in some windows. Genius idea. To create some ambiance. Then we could get some plant life in there. Jano, Jano. Ooh, maybe we should have a door so they can, uh, you know, get into that space. I just hop that in there. Oh, but what is going on here? Why is there a gap? What? What do I put the door here? Then there's not a gap. Oh, it's because of the diagonal wall. Okay, you know what? We're, we're not gonna have a door. We're not gonna have a door. Just pretend that there is a door there, okay? And everything will be okay. It wasn't my fault. It was the same fault. All right, it was. Let's move on here. What was this supposed to be again? An office? Art room? I do believe so. First off, what about in this corner? We have a little stuffy leaf. What is it called again? Easel. I can never remember the name of that. And some little canvases just right there. I know I wasn't supposed to be decorating, but here I am decorating. But yeah, we can have a painting corner in here. And then, ah, oh my gosh, pick it up, Nora. And then on the other side here, we could have a little nifty nifty desk. Ooh, and then we can have this little rolling cart in the corner. And some knitting gear. And then just this thing. <laughs> That's mahoosive. Wow. And uh, maybe, maybe some sort of carpet. Or I could have a yellow one. Or maybe both. That's a little bit overkill, isn't it? Do you know what? Putting in a flooring. That was a good idea. So I could see <laughs> a little bit better. I need to put in some wallpaper as well. What am I doing? Ooh, what if we have this blue one? And then maybe a little dash of yellow. Would that be fun? I wish that this yellow was a little bit paler. But it's maximalism. Okay, let's start with the ore exterior. Shan't we? Oh, I think we shan't. So, for the ore exterior, I wanted a calm, zen place. Inspired by minimalism and the sort of japan kind of style-ish. Now, do I know much about the Japanese? Japanese style? No, I do not. <laughs> I, I sadly do not. Okay, anyways, I think for the, for the ore house, I'm going with this sort of inspiration. Take it with a grain of salt. But I thought somewhere along the lines of that. Yes. Now I just have to make the gosh darn house. What if I take this roof? Get it across there. Ah, beautiful. Take it a little bit down. Squeeze it a little bit in. Uh oh. Take the sides out a little bit, maybe. Oh, geez. What have I done now? This is not good. What if you take a gabled roof and just hide that? Hide that right up. You know what? Maybe I can have the roof like so. It looks okay-ish. <laughs> I mean, of course, this isn't supposed to be like authentic Japanese style. That it isn't. It's just a little inspired by the style. Obviously, as you can see. What else can I put in there? Maybe some wallpaper? That's always good. Okay, maybe I can go for this light woodish color. I mean, I feel very zen looking at that. If I had to go to a spa, then I uh, would go here. And oh, of course, we need some columns to keep this roof up, you know? Uh, where are my columns? Where, 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 where. Oh my gosh, why can't I find the gosh darn columns? Oh, here they are. <laughs> Never mind. So what if I do something like this? And then I put in some flooring. And then I don't put this on any sort of platforms. I just have it on the ground. But with a little uh, fence to keep this all in. Eh, maybe. Maybe that could work. Oh, you know what? Before I begin with all of that, shebang. I need some windows. I completely forgot the windows. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Do not look at that thing. I was trying so hard to hide that thing. <laughs> I do not want to talk about that. <laughs> look how stupid that looks. I <laughs> I have no words, really. I, ju I just, I don't. Yeah, I think I could go something like this with the house style. Okay, so for the inside of this place, maybe one of the bedrooms can be here somewhere. Like so. Wait, can I fit a bed in there? I mean, bare <laughs> Can I fit it in anywhere else? Not, no. What about a single bed? I mean, that looks a lot better. Ooh, maybe this house can be like um, a roommate's house. You know, they were roommates and all. They could, they could be roommates. Okay, so yeah, we can have a bedroom there and a bedroom here, like so. Where is the rest of the stuff gonna be? I don't even know. All right, so I made a little layout for this house. It was difficult, but uh, I managed to do it in the end. So right here, we have the entryway. Then we have the kitchen, dining, living room situation in this thing. And then we have the bathroom. And then some sort of hallway slash office, maybe. I'm not really sure. And then right here, we have a bedroom. And then another bedroom. And they were, in fact, roommates. Yes. Oh, and then this dot here. I thought that this could be some sort of meditation room. Yes. You know? 
All right, so in here was going to be the kitchen. Oh, that's a funky fridge. Some counters, of course. And where am I going to have the dining table? That's another question. Can I squeeze one in here? I mean, uh, yeah, I can squeeze one in there. And uh, oh, <laughs> this is such a small house. Okay, so around here was going to be the living room. So can we put a couch in there? And then mm, maybe a couch here. I don't know. Maybe that can work. Maybe. <laughs> and then this was going to be the bathroom, was it? I think it was going to be the bathroom. I mean, we at least need a bathtub because bathtubs are very zen. Oh, we have a big window there. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I shall move the bathtub over here. All right. I kind of like this toilet, but not in that color. I wanted to match this. Can I do that? No, she could not. Wonderful. I don't like any of the toilets. Okay, what if I take this toilet and then I just squeeze this part into the wall? Ah, oh, beautiful. Then I need some things. Maybe this? Yeah, sure. And then the mirror. Should I have two or one? Maybe just one. Then we can have something else there. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so for this bedroom, I was thinking this paneling, but that paneling is so light and this one is kind of dark what am i supposed to do who knows okay let's set up the furniture first and then i'll shall <laughs> i shall figure out the wallpaper oh that's cute and then we need some sort of dresser can i squeeze that in somewhere no what about a desk maybe they need a desk for something and then can i fit in a little dresser in there i mean that one could work it, it could it indeed could okay what about this bedroom i just have a desk here and then under here i can have some sort of dresser or actually i can have the bed here i mean i think that could work Jean no. Okay, so in this room, I thought we can make this room into one of those uh, sand places. What are they called again? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Japanese sand garden, dry garden, stone garden, sand rock garden. One of those are probably correct. I mean, at least I hope so. But yeah, those type of gardens. I need to build me a little floor. Well, that is looking ridiculous. I want to apologize to everyone, especially Japan. I am sorry. Maybe I shan't just have one circle. Or maybe a tiny little one up here. I don't know. And then another little rock in the middle. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just have one circle like that. It isn't even in the middle anymore. But, <laughs> but uh, calm, calm, calm day. Gee, Louis. I can put up a little bookshelf for them. That seems nice. I am very nice today. There's a nice little <laughs> reading spot. Okay, what am I gonna do with this space? What is this? This room confuses me. It does. Yeah, I can have it like so then. Just chillaxing and looking at the round little room over there. <laughs> also for this meditation room. I can have two little yoga pillows. Should I have the yoga stool or the meditation? stool i mean is that cooler is it maybe it is they're just sitting in here meditating away just two roommates and you know what you're gonna get a carpet as well maybe a salt lamp i think these people would like a salt lamp you know and i was gonna give them a computer but on the other hand i don't think these people are computer people you know they are zen and there is nothing zen about a computer what can i give them instead i can give them a notebook because they are writing about their feelings at the frickety frackety on maybe just some zen pictures on the wall <laughs> do you feel zen do you? I for sure feel very zen in this moment in time. Oh, you know what? I can give them one of those um, bonsai trees. This one. They might enjoy that. Uh -huh. And then you, mister, you can, or missus, or non-binary missus, you can get a carpet as well. I mean, you can also get one of these books. Ta-da! And just a little picture of a cat. A picture of a cat. Okay, so the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is a disaster. And of course, there is no matching cabinets, because why would it be? Yeah, what? Oh, well. Okay, maybe these can work. You know, they living a simple life. There's simple cabinets. <laughs> yeah, I can have the stove in there. And then I need a little sink. Bop. There we go. Okay, it's kind of weird to have a sink with these type of counters. But let's not talk about the logistics of that. Let's not. All right, now it's time for the ad, uh, which is such a difficult letter to make. It was. I mean, that line is supposed to match up with this line. But when I tried to do that, it just, it looked ridiculous. It did not look good. So here we are. That's the shape. Shape. The shape. <laughs> let's try to make this thing. I mean, this was supposed to be a haunted house, so a haunted house it is. It would be weird if it was any other house than a haunted house. When I said that this was going to be the haunted house, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. What kind of wallpaper do I want? Oh, that's funky. I think maybe I like that. I do. Gotta be honest here. I have no idea what to do with this roof. Because there are so many... Eh, you know. Interesting. All right, it's a little while later. I <laughs> I had to do a real thing this time. TM. A real thing. Because I, this was... This is a weird roof. And especially for a haunted house, you know. They have very specific styles. And this is my starting point, and I'm not happy with it. I have tried everything, but I want this sort of roof. And of course, it has this uh, this diagonal line in the back. So I had to come up with a little tower. And then, uh, wow, oh, how am I going to save this? This is not looking great. I know it's not looking great. What if I put up some little um, one of these? I mean, it looks scary. That it does. That's at least something. It looks scary. <laughs> but does it look scary good or scary bad? I think it looks scary bad. Is what is 
is happening here? <laughs> oh, Jai, so gang, how giggling. And yet again, it's a little while later. I, I have tried putting up this and the little one of these roofs and no, it's not. It's, it's not looking good. I mean, what more can I do? Um, I mean, just more details maybe? Maybe the details will save everything. I mean, the details did not save that much, to be honest. It did not. Oh, it's looking so weird. I don't like it. No, absolutely not. All right, you know what? I'm going to come back to the exterior later, okay? I'm going to come back to it because I I am going insane. I've tried everything. Nothing, nothing seems to work. I just, ah, I'm going to come back to you. And let's do the interior, shall we? No, we shan't. But I mean, <laughs> do not look at the back even. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're not, we're not showing the house. All righty, tighty here is the layout of the house. Did a nice old quick layout. No, it was not quick. I think this is the most difficult shape of them all. I will know. I think the herb was the hardest. I don't even know anymore. But here's the layout. And yet again, yet again, I had to put a floor in that little hole because if I remove the floor, you know, we're just looking into the abyss. So I had to put a floor in there, but don't you worry. I'm going to put some grass in there and we're going to pretend that it's the outside. Okay, so here is the layout. I forgot all the rooms. Uh, what was the rooms again, Nora? Wait, okay. Here's the entry Way. Here is some sort of hallway, I do think, and a bathroom. Then we have a library office shenanigan, and then a bedroom, and the living room, and something. It's gonna be something. <laughs> and here we have the kitchen and dining space. And this is the outside part, of course. Oops, hada! Let's start. And where are we gonna start with first? I don't even know. You know what? I'm gonna start with uh, painting the walls with this scary, scary wallpaper. Ooh. You know what? Let's start with the kitchen first. That's always exciting. I mean, I think actually I wanna go for this this flooring because it has that scary scary vibe so let's put in the kitchen a haunted kitchen oh i'm gonna put in these counters because i love them and then fridge can't forget the fridge oh we need a stove that's important to have that stove oh oh that's beautiful i love that i do all right now we need some cabinets el cabinetto <laughs> so wow beautiful all right now we need a table a scary scary table what about this one from vampires oh that's kind of fancy and some chairs um yeah i don't think we can fit all of those chairs in this room i guess we're lacking for space so i think this table is just gonna have two chairs you know there's only two people living here because we only have one bedroom as well or just one person that might work as well all right so i like that table color but i cannot for the life of me find a chair that matches none of the colors matches and they're from the same pack nothing matches so it's just gonna be like that and i'm i'm done i am done with you all right now for the bedroom the bad bad bedroom i mean are we gonna go for the vampire bed i think we are because when else am i gonna use this bed you know when else and then of course we need a dresser i think i just have to have it in front of the bed and then just size it down a little bit maybe yeah whatever and what can we have in that little corner a chair i mean yeah that's immensely creepy <laughs> I like that. Oh, I forgot. We need some little nightstand. That we do. Well, I can pop in these for them. Nice. And then some pictures of some vampires. Is why not? All right. So in the living room, this is a very weird space. But I think we have a couch there and a couch there. Maybe that could be something. And then we can have a fireplace there. I think that's reasonable. What kind of couch do I want? Maybe just the one from vampires. I, I kind of like that couch. That could be a vibe. It could be. Then we need a coffee table. I think we need a round one because of the weirdness of the room, you know? And maybe just this thing in the corner. Why not? Ooh. I mean, maybe. Well, that's going to be a fire hazard, but uh, it's going to be a fire hazard. <laughs> There's no ifs and buts about that. It's going to be a fire hazard. Ooh, that's a cool table. It matches. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then this room. I'm not really sure what to have in here because, um, I mean, look at the shape of that. Do not look at the curtains. Do not look at them. I'm going to have a meltdown about the curtains and I'll talk about that in a bit. But this is such a weird room. What am I going to fit in here? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> wait, maybe I could just have a tiny little little seance table in here with just one chair. That's all I can fit in here. It's just one chair. This is the saddest room I've ever seen. And then right here, we have a little door or a, a bookcase, which is a secret door that leads in here. And in here, I'm going to put in some fake grass because it's supposed to be the outside. Thank you, Sims. And then I'm going to put in a little coffin and some lights so we can see what's happening in there because good golly gosh. Like so. <laughs> I mean, isn't that creepy? That is creepy, isn't it? I like it. I love it. I mean, let's start um, furnishing the bathroom, shall we? That seems reasonable. I am just gonna put in these tiles. They look nice enough for me. Then just a standard old toilet. State of the art toilet. And then we need a shower or bathtub combo, maybe? Where is it? That one. Bop. Just a nice, simple bedroom. And then these two rooms were supposed to be hallways. So we're just gonna put in some fancy flooring with some generic hallway stuff. And in this hallway, I have no idea what to put in this hallway. Because um, there's doors on every single wall. 
all. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. What about a mirror? Let's move on. <laughs> I surprise myself sometimes with what I do and say. I gotta, I gotta be honest here. Alright, for this room, that was gonna be the library office. Okay, so first things first, we need some bookshelves. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine this house just having these bookshelves. <laughs> now that would be scary. Wait, oh, what about this bookshelf? Oh, that's cool. Do we have some matching ones? What about these? Oh, they're glitching a little bit, but I, I shan't fix that. The tool mod. Oh, yeah, that's fine by me. Okay, what can we have on the other side here? What's something really scary? <laughs> I mean, that would be a scary thing to see. <laughs> but maybe, maybe not the vibe for today. <laughs> what can I put in there? <gasps> okay, that is scary though. That's a scary thing to see. Imagine you walk into an abandoned house. First of all, while you're doing that, stop it. But if you walk into an abandoned house and you just see this, like, you would have some questions. So, yeah, I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, so here, I mean, can I squeeze in a little table here? Maybe I can. Maybe I'll get rid of those windows because they're annoying me. Then maybe I can squeeze in a little table here as well. Why the frickity frickity not? Then I can have a scary, scary candle on there. <laughs> wow. What about a carpet? We need a nice carpet in here. That is looking weird. What can I do? Nothing, apparently. <gasps> maybe we can have Mr. Bloody Daddy up here. Oh, so official. Wow. Okay, so the curtain situation. I mean, I need to make a wall out here because oh, I cannot see anything in there. Okay, literally, literally, I have tried every single curtain and none of the curtains fit that gosh darn window. And it's just, I'm actually going insane. None of the curtains fit that freaking window. So budgie. I have no idea what to do. I just don't know. I have to think about that. Oh no, this roof. I have no words. What am I supposed to do with this roof? It doesn't make it better that I have no windows here. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah, I'm sure it's true, Nora. <laughs> you can see that they're not there. All right, it's time for a little speed building decoration where I put in all the decoration and all of that jazz. Yes, that, that I am. So I hope you're enjoying that. Because I certainly am right now. And if you're wondering why I build the way I build, um, <laughs> good sentence, Nora. Proud of you for that one. But okay, I'm sure that a lot of, lot of people have their own building techniques. Of course, it would be weird if we all had the same building technique. I'll be kind of worried if that was the truth. But, <laughs> but the YouTube simmers that I've seen and that I watch usually build one room at a time. You know, they start building the living room and they put in all the furniture and all the decoration and they finish it right then and there and then they go on to the next room and then they do the same that's that's the quote-unquote normal building style that i've seen and that's probably a lot better for the viewer to watch you know but i just i do not function like that at all like i've tried doing that in the past but it just it doesn't work for me it stresses me out so much because one i'm really bad with time managing okay i could easily use two hours on one room and then i just wouldn't have time for anything else you know so then one room would be extremely good and then the other rooms would just be bleh, you know <laughs> and the second reason is that i get overwhelmed so quickly <laughs> so it really just helps me with just placing furniture here and there and doing small things here and there instead of doing everything at once that's just that's just how i am that's just how i am so i hope um hope you're okay with that because otherwise we're gonna have some problems <laughs> and yeah of course the speed building decoration of this that has to be done because i like to decorate a lot i like to put in my little nicky knacks everywhere and that takes a long time and it's really boring to watch in real time you know just gonna be like oh i'm putting up this book and then i'm putting up this plant oh no i need to rearrange it hold on i'm gonna put a lamp in there as well oh no i need to rearrange that it's gonna be that for two hours you know and, and, I, and I don't think anybody would watch that <laughs> so yeah that's <laughs> that's the deal with that oh by the way do any of you have a good recommendation for books about interior design or architecture maybe <laughs> i know some of you guys are interior design students i know i've seen you so maybe you have some recommendations maybe may, maybe <laughs> because i'm the type of person that loves to read physical books instead of on the screen you know because if i read things on the screen i just i get headaches so i i need some i need some good books about interior design or architecture or something like that because um yeah i'm kind of interested in that so if you have any recommendations please let me know i want to know <laughs> what else can i talk about oh yeah thank you for guys who uh, <laughs> commented about the about the Utadul in the last build that it was called an outhouse in English and not an outside toilet. <laughs> so thank you. And that's also when I realized how direct the Norwegian language is. Because Utadul, if you translate that word for word into English, Utadul, it's literally outside toilet. Like we, we have a very direct language. We do not have time to make up new words for something. We do not. <laughs> we, we, we do not. Like for example, the word guns in English, that in Norwegian is and if you badly translate that back into English, it's tooth meat, tonshet. Like hospital in Norwegian is 
sick house, which becomes sick house, who came up with that great word, <laughs> the fire department in Norwegian, Brandvesna, which, <laughs> which becomes the fire creature. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. So yeah, it's, it's a very direct language, I must say. What's another bad word? The Grim Reaper in Norwegian is Manmejon, which <laughs> becomes sorry, the man with the sky. We couldn't have come up with a better word for that. The man with the sky. Well, sometimes. Okay. Some freaking times. What else can I talk about? Today it's 17 degrees Celsius and it's raining lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Was that interesting? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. I really don't think so. I'm wearing this sweater today. This crop sweater that I bought a few years ago actually. And I've never really used this sweater. Even though I freaking love this. I barely use it because this sweater is cropped way too short. I didn't crop this myself, the store did, but it's cropped way too short. So if I raise my hand up and I have to hold my shirt down for this, if I raise my hand up, the whole shirt comes with it. And um, that's not a good look, is it? It, it really isn't. So I barely get to use it. Barely get to use it. Sad, sad day for being a crop top. Okay, I think I'm done with this beard building now. I really freaking hope so because uh, I am I am done talking. I am done talking. So uh, let's move on to the house tour, shall we? Oh, we freaking shall. Welcome to the house tour. Welcome, welcome. Here are the three beautiful houses. Wow, wee, wow, wow. I mean, I gotta say, these houses are looking ridiculous. But I knew that coming into this challenge that they weren't gonna look like normal houses. Because, you know, they're shaped as letters. They are. But I didn't think they would look this ridiculous. I, I did not. So that's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like these houses. I really like the maximalism house the most. Because it's just so freaking weird. I mean, I haven't seen anything like that before. I gotta be honest here. I haven't. <laughs> and the house that I like the least is the freaking haunted house house because the freaking roof it took my life away and it's still not looking good that i gotta say it's not looking it's not looking good is it but maybe that is why the house is haunted the roof was so ugly that just drove all the people insane but yeah this looks like a very nice little um little neighborhood <laughs> it does really freaking does so um yeah that was the alphabet challenge what can i say about that it was fun no okay it, it was fun i had a good time it's just really late right now <laughs> but um that, that was the alphabet challenge and I think this is the first time that I've built in this world. What is this world again? It came with um, the horse ranch pack. And I do gotta say it's kind of lovely here. I mean, I only chose this place because I needed a 64 by 64 lot. But you know, I'm happy with what I got, I guess. I hope I'm done with the house tour now. I do believe I am, if I've timed this correctly. So uh, let's go outro. Oh, let's go outro. All right, that was it for this time. Hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I did. And don't forget to like, subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. Now we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.